I come from a place where the people there have resigned themselves to give their lives for what they believe in. But what is it that they believe in? What is it that is so strong and, and consuming that the streets would give their lives to have it? And that one thing that can be traced pretty much to every man and woman is pleasure. I, I, I talked to God about this. I said, Lord, why is it that you've made pleasure such a strong, consuming emotion, desire, and need? Why is it that you would create something so strong that it would cause people to turn their backs on you and not even want to serve you? And God told me, Andre, it's because you don't understand pleasure why you're asking me that question. But I will explain to you pleasure and then I want you to explain it to the people. He first told me that pleasure has a supernatural origin. That it doesn't have a human origin. It has a supernatural origin. And it was his will to make it as strong as he made it. He said, do you really want to know how important pleasure is? He said, if you look in the world, you will see that it is the one thing that will cause strength in an individual. If there's a little virgin teenage girl and she hears her friends talk about the pleasure they had with their boyfriends. This little girl not even having experienced sex before, but by hearing alone of pleasure, will cause her to want to go have it also. You could take a little boy who's a teenager, who's never done drugs, who has friends that have done it, and they come and tell him how beautiful it was, how wonderful and pleasurable it was when they drank and when they smoked weed and got high. And based upon that word alone, that little boy will go and seek that that gives him pleasure. That same little girl will rise up against her mama, her best friends, her father, if you tried to take her away from the boy that she's having pleasure with. And such as a little boy will do the same. He'll stand alone if you try to take the girl that he's having pleasure with. If there's a man that finds his ultimate pleasure in money and you rise up against him, you will have a battle on your hand. So why is it, God, that you've made it so consuming? He said, son, again, do you really want to know how deep and important and heavenly pleasure is? He said to me, Andre, pleasure is so important that it is the only reason why I made you, hallelujah, for my pleasure. He said when people speak of pleasure, they automatically associate pleasure to an evil thing, to a bad thing. But he said, that is the enemy's doing. Pleasure have never been a bad and evil thing. He said, most people read in my word that it says that God is love. But he said, the intimate ones with me really know that not only Am I love? But ultimately, God is pleasure. The word says that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore at his right hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, 
tell people because they do not view me like this. Tell them that I understand why they are seeking for pleasure. He said from since the moment men were separated from me in the garden in that pleasurable spot that I held because I am ultimate pleasure. Man has been seeking for substitutes of my ultimate pleasure. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said so tell them because based upon hearing alone that will draw them to me. Let them know that there is no pleasure greater than the pleasure that I am. Let them know that you was involved with many women before, that you had large amounts of finances before, yet that never stopped you. I dug you out of the crevices of the gutters of life because once you had an experience with me when you were 16 years old and you experienced ultimate pleasure, you was never the same. That's why drugs couldn't hold you. Pippin couldn't hold you. Women couldn't hold you. Money couldn't hold you. You needed me, who is ultimate pleasure, to fill you up and complete you. Hallelujah. My message to the world and to them that are out there seeking continually for pleasure is that ultimate pleasure is alone. The streets knew him as gorgeous Dre and the Hughes Brothers film American Pimp. Federal prison knew him as number 33599-048. Now Andre Taylor rises from the gutters of life to glory to shed light on God's power of redemption.